Hi there, this is Joan Marie Domino. Welcome to my channel. Look at these beautiful ornaments. They're so Christmassy and sparkly. I made these using a technique called reverse decoupage. I'm going to take you step by step so that you will be able to create one of these reverse decoupage ornaments as well. And I'm going to go over all of the supplies and how you use them in this video. I used things I got from the Dollar Tree and beautiful napkins I got from Bibby's Designs. If you like videos like this, take you step by step, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joe Marie Domino. Give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave a comment, and remember I'm on Facebook and Instagram. So the very first step is to pick out a napkin that has a really nice scene and we're going for winter scenes in this case and you've seen this one already with the deer and the cabin that is perfect i love this truck as well with the barn very good scenery and then this other napkin here with the house i thought also oh that's perfect and it looks great behind the ornament so once we've got the napkin picked out we're ready to move on all right this is a napkin we're going to use and remember we're going to do a couple so this is the first one so i'm opening it up and i'm going to be using the deer with the cabin and i'm going to take my ornament um, here it is and just remove that top part that just gets in the way believe me and put it down on top where you want i'm going to get my water brush water brush has water in the tube and it feeds through to the brush and now i'm going to be able to trace once i have it positioned i'm going to take my water brush make sure the water's flowing really well because i got to do a little more water this time and i'm just going to trace around the ornament so I am squeezing the tube just a little bit because I want the water to be really flowing. I'm gently pulling it apart and a little bit water where you need until you get the whole piece off. So it's lifting off very nicely now because the water really helps. But I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to put it behind the ornament. I just want to make sure how it's going to look. Oh, and it's perfect. I've taken my rice basket out, very helpful to keep the ornament in place. And there is the napkin. And look, it's gonna look good behind there. So we're not gonna put it that way. We're going to put it upside down. Because remember, we're doing reverse decoupage and I'm going to use the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter because I want it to be nice and sparkly. So I'm going to apply the glitter. This is going to be on the side where the napkin is going to go. And I'm gonna give it a nice even coat. Once I have that side of the ornament covered with the Mod Podge, remember we're putting it on upside down because we're going to be looking through the ornament. So I'm going to use my fingers just to kind of tap it down, but I'm gonna get my trusty saran wrap and I'm gonna smooth it really well because it is a curved surface. Oh, I think that's smooth enough. Now I'm gonna very carefully lift off the saran wrap so we could take a look. All right, let's turn it around. Oh, that looks really good. I love the reverse decoupage technique because we're looking through the clear ornament. Now I'm gonna tap down the edges a little bit. I still have some Mod Podge on my brush and let's take a look one more time. Okay, don't skip any steps. Now that the napkin is dry, I'm going on to the next step. This step is so important. I'm using door clear. This is a sealant, all right? I'm gonna put this on top of the napkin. Why am I doing this? Because when I go to paint over this, I don't want the paint seeping through the napkin. And if you don't seal the napkin, that's what happens and it really ruins the look of the ornament. So we're gonna cover the entire napkin. All right, once I put this on and I let it dry, I'm on to the next step, which is to put white paint. And I'm going to be using a little pouncer and I'm going to go over the entire napkin, okay? We're putting the paint on so when we turn it over and we look at it, the image is much more vibrant. That's why it's important to put the paint on next. And when we think about reverse, right? Because we are doing it in reverse. Normally we put the paint on first, all right? So go around the whole ornament and there is a little seam there. So try to go up to the seam. See how nice it looks? All right, let's let it dry. 
Now that it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and put coat number two on. Um, two coats really gives it a lot more opaqueness, <laughs> so the napkin really looks good from the other side. And we're going to let that dry. Now that both coats are dry, let's turn it over and take a look. Look how pretty that is with that um, Mod Podge Extreme glitter. All right, now we have to make a choice because we have that other side now that's painted. So what are we going to do? We can take something like Gold Rub and Buff. That's a paste. Put a little bit on a paper towel and just rub the back. Or you can go ahead and decoupage the other side, which is kind of cool since we have the reverse decoupage with the deer. We can go ahead and put something on the other side that is not reverse decoupage. We're just going to do a water tear and adhere it to the back with some Mod Podge. So there's a couple options for you. And um, I'm sure there are other things you can think of because you want to make this ornament your own. Okay, now we're going to move on to another ornament. On to ornament number two, and I decided to use this napkin with the cardinal, and I removed it the same way. I used my water brush um, pen, and I traced around the ornament until I was able to remove the cardinal, which looks perfect behind this ornament. Okay, I decided to do an experiment, and I figured, you know, I'm going to take you along with me. I got my extreme glitter paint, not the glue, and I decided I'm going to put it directly onto the napkin, all right? So I have a small brush, and this is just a little plastic top, and I'm going to put some of the extreme glitter. Remember, this is the paint. And I'm going to dab on the extreme glitter paint like that where I want it. And I did not separate the plies. Just so you know, I kept them together. I'm not sure if that was the right thing to do or not. Well, you'll see as I go along. So I just dabbed it here and there. And I went a little bit over the foliage like that. So once I thought I had enough, I let it dry. All right. This is where I ran into a problem because I thought, you know, I'm using the paint. It's not going to stick together, but it did. So it became very tedious for me to pull it apart. I was able to without ripping it. However, some of the second ply, the ply behind it, did stay there. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. And it still looks very good that way. But let's just keep going. On to adhering the napkin to the ornament, the plastic ornament. I'm going to go ahead and use the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter again. And remember, I'm using this rice basket because it helps to hold the ornament in place. So I'm going to take the Extreme Glitter Mod Podge and I'm going to put a nice even coat on the one side of the ornament, like that. Now I'm ready to put the piece of napkin on. Remember, you're going to be putting it on upside down. So I'm going to tap it down with my fingers like this. And then I am going to get a piece of saran wrap. And I'm going to put it over it. And I'm going to give it a good rub down. And so far, that little piece of napkin on the back doesn't seem to be making a difference. And let's carefully lift off the saran wrap. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it's so pretty. It fits perfect, right? It's very glittery. You just can't really tell from that picture, but it is very glittery. Now we're going to put on the sealant. The sealant is going to go on top of the napkin before the paint. Guys, do not skip this step, okay? That's door clear inside there, and I'm going to go over the whole napkin. The sealant is a barrier to keep the paint from going through. This is why I say Every time I do a video for you, I take you step by step, and this is an important step. You don't want the paint going through. Now that the sealant is dry, we're going to go on to the next step, which is to add the paint. So I'm using paint and white paint and my dabber, and I'm going to go over the entire napkin. And again, try to find that seam. You're going to go up to that seam. And once I'm done with the first coat, you're going to go all the way around. Go ahead and do a second coat. All right, now that the paint is dry, we're ready to decoupage the back. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to be putting um, any paint on the back or rubbing buff. I'm going to put another cardinal. I thought it would be nice, 
a cardinal on the front and a cardinal on the back. And I found this napkin. It's from Vippy's Designs, www.vippies.com. They have a wonderful selection of cardinals if you're looking for them. And I'm going to cut away that panel, even though I'm only going to be using that center bird. I will save those other two cardinals for another project. All right, next we're going to separate the plies because remember with decoupage, we only use the top printed layer. Now I'm going to remove the part of the napkin that I want, and it's going to be that middle cardinal. I'm using my water brush. There's water in the tube, and it feeds out through the brush. And I'm going to go around the cardinal. And what happens is the water weakens the napkin, and I'm able to use a nice, gentle tear like that. And it looks really good once I go to decoupage it. And by the way, all of the things I use, I list them in the video description area. So if you use that links, I appreciate it. It really helps to support my channel, and that looks perfect. Once I have the little piece of napkin where I want, I'm going to go ahead and use Mod Podge. I put mine into small containers, but you can buy the little ones at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take the Mod Podge. I'm going to put it directly onto the ornament. So I want to make sure I put Mod Podge everywhere the napkin is going to be laying down. We don't want to miss any spots. And I'm going to start to tap it down with my fingers. And as you can see, there is a spot I missed, but that's very easy. I'm just going to tuck a little bit of Mod Podge under there. And I am going to go around the edges and just smooth them all down. But of course, I have to go with the piece of saran wrap to make sure it's nice and smooth. Smooth. And then we're going to remove very carefully the saran wrap. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to hold it up. Oh, it looks so pretty. That cardinal fits on there perfectly. All right, I decided I wanted to do a little bit more with this. And so I picked out one of my favorite products, which is Snow Text. I'm going to show it to you. It's by Deco Art, and it's basically faux or fake snow. Now I'm going to show it to you. Um, I'm going to use this putty knife right here. See, it's very, very fluffy, and it does dry hard, just so you know. It goes on like this, but it doesn't stay like that. It dries hard. And I'm just going to start to dab it around the cardinal, and I'm just going to keep adding. So you can just continue to dab it like I am here until you have as much or as little snow as you want. a couple other ones this kind of looks like a snow globe and i went all the way around with the fake snow and i have some loose snow inside it like the little flakes on this one i used little silver beads i got from the dollar tree and again i surrounded it with the fake faux snow now on this one i used one of my new favorite products this is called glitterific it's so pretty and it's very different from anything I've used before. It's got little pieces of glitter, little pieces of foil, and they're all different sizes. And what you do is you can apply this with a brush. And again, as little or as much as you want. Like I've already put it on one time, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some more on it because it's just so pretty and really adds to the look of the ornament. And you can use other colors, not just pink. So when I'm done adding as much as I want, I just want to put it off to dry. And I really love this Glitterific. It does come in other colors. And I have to tell you, I think I see some new colors in my future because I really do like it. And on the back, I did use the Rub and Buff. All right, I want to go back to the other two and show you. It looks like a water globe, doesn't it? Um, I used pink and gold on the back. I did not put any glitter on the snow. However, on this one, that one has the little silver beads I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm using what's called Glitter Explosion. And I'm going to tell you, that's the perfect name for this product because it is very, very sparkly. And I would say all of the glitter is in a glue, but it doesn't seem to matter that it's a glue. It goes on very easily and and it dries nice. It's called Glitter Explosion. It's so pretty. Now that I have taken you step by step and showed you how to do reverse decoupage, I hope that you're going to give it a try. And if you like videos that go step by step, 
I give clear instructions. I go over all of the supplies that you use. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joe Marie Domino. Give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and hit the little bell for future notifications so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Remember, I get my napkins from Vippy's Designs, www.vippies.com. Vippies is on Instagram and Facebook, so you can follow them. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook as well, so please follow along there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you soon.